so you're watching a film based off of a show you watched and you're into it you watch the whole thing and enjoy it but then some questions pop up in your brain out of nowhere and one of them goes like I wonder where this film fits in the canon because this person shouldn't know this person they shouldn't be able to do that because they never could do that before or something like that anime films have a habit of this happening a lot I remember watching the first Naruto film Ninja Clash and the Land of Snow I remember there being trains guys that look way too modern for my taste and technology provided Naruto has technology in its universe but on a limited scale and on to that, Naruto himself already knows the Rasengan and Sasuke is still with Team 7. You could fit the movie in a timeline, but the only issue with Sasuke due to the fact that he was still in a coma and pretty much left immediately after waking up in... <laughs> Having that happen... Yeah. The two films after this one could also fit in the Naruto timeline, at least with the anime, because all of the fucking filler, and this is absolutely unacceptable at this point. It gets kinda dicey from there, though, with the exception of the last in Boruto. The reason for why most anime films aren't canon may be because of the writer or director. They have ideas that are similar to the series, but it might mean using characters who couldn't possibly be there at that time. I honestly feel like the director or writer of the film is given a little bit of leniency with how they use certain characters and display them. Plus, if the main antagonist is defeated or killed, you could arguably say it happened, but it will never be acknowledged on screen at all. Kinda like most of the villains in the DBZ films, unless you want to figure out a way to avoid making a giant plot hole in the timeline, although the results may vary. Obi-Wan Kenobi said, your eyes can deceive you, don't trust them. In the end, they're bigger budget versions of a series we may enjoy. For what they are and what they bring to the table, it's fine. Not saying that every anime film is good, but the idea of turning an anime series into a big budget anime film is an okay idea. I just wish some events would get acknowledgement in canon.